shaders for Minecraft 1.19.4. That's what we're going to be getting in this video. But specifically, we're going to be getting Iris shaders. There's two main shaders mods out there right now. Optifine and Iris. Iris updates a lot quicker, is a lot more performant, meaning higher FPS, but it only works with Sodium mods. On top of all that, not every shaders pack, even though I would guess 80 to 90% now do work with Iris, works with Iris shaders, whereas I don't know a shaders pack that doesn't work with Optifine. So let's go ahead and get Iris shaders installed, because if you ask me, it performs better, it looks just as good, and most of the shaders packs work, might as well install it, especially considering it may take months before Optifine updates to Minecraft 1.19.4. So let's go ahead and get Iris. First thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That takes you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Iris shaders in text format. Some people prefer text format, I do know that, and that's why we write these articles so you can go here and go through it at your own pace. But nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Iris shaders button to be taken to the official Iris shaders download page. On this page, just click on that download universal jar link and boom, it will download right like so. You may need to save or keep the file depending on your browser, but it is 100% safe to download. We also need to download some shaders packs. Shaders packs are basically resource packs, but they add in lighting and shading to Minecraft. So once you're here, we can scroll down and start downloading. First is BSL shaders, then make up ultra fast shaders, and then uh, you can download any of these. I'm just grabbing some of my favorites. The last one's going to be Yo FPS, because that's a really high FPS shaders pack that uh, looks still pretty good once you get in game. For BitSlap, it's going to take you here. We can click on BSL shaders, click on download, then scroll down and click either Modern or Curse Forge, doesn't matter which. And then once you do that, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save a shaders pack, but usually they just download without even needing to do that. Makeup Ultra Fast it takes you to Curse Forge, where you can look at the right hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and click the download. By the way, if a shaders pack isn't updated to 1.19, still try it! It may or may not work, and if it doesn't work, you can easily remove it and you're good to go. It's like it never happened. But if it does work, you still get the benefit of using shaders. And by the way, you may get the new Curse Forge. And if that's the case, it'll look like this. Let's go ahead and search up for Yo FPS shaders. I just want to show you how to download something on this versus the old version, because a lot of people will be using this eventually. So once you're here, what you want to do is go ahead and make sure that this is the same version. It looks like it is, right? Yes, okay, same version here. And nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on Files. Then locate the version you want. 1.19.1, perfectly fine. Click on the three dots and click download file. The download will begin after a few seconds. And while we wait on that, how about this for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex, as they have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support. So should you have an issue, they can help you. Again, check out Apex the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex your server up and running. Nevertheless, we'll go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move all these shaders packs and Iris to our desktop. It's going to be most likely in your downloads folder. You can find that by clicking the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Tap in downloads and there's a file explorer. Click on that and then you want to scroll down the left hand side to this PC and then select downloads. And here we have all our three of our shaders packs and Iris. By the way, this will work with any shaders pack. Even if it's not on the list on our website, that's okay. Uh, we can't guarantee that will work, but it should, right? All shaders packs are installed in the exact same way. Just to get started though, we need to use Iris and get that installed. So go ahead and right click on Iris, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Iris Shaders is a Minecraft mod, so you need to download and install Java 17. We have an in-depth guide in the description, and most of the time, you'll be good to go after you get this. Sometimes, though, you'll still need to download and install the JarFix. The JarFix basically takes all the JAR files on your computer and links them back to Java, making them work happily together. Now, let's we can go ahead and minimize our browser and open up Iris Shaders by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. This is going to open the Iris and Sodium installer. Iris and Sodium must be installed together. This does both all for you without having to think about it. You can select your game version. We obviously want 1.19.4. We want to select Iris and then click install. It's going to download, install Iris and Sodium and get it working in Minecraft. As you can see, it says completed. You can then close out of the Iris installer and delete it from your desktop. Next, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, you should have an Iris profile right away. Right, it should just be here and you'll see it as soon as we open this, it'll most likely already be selected. But if it's not, 
Well, then what do you do? Well, we want to go ahead and create one. As you can see, for us, it's already selected. If it is for you, click play, click play again. But if you don't have it, click installations at the top. Make sure modded is selected. As you can see, if we don't check modded, it's not there. Check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Iris, go ahead and click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Shaders 1.19.4. And then we want to click the versions drop down box. In here, we want to select release Iris Fabric Loader 1.19.4. It is imperative that it says Iris at the beginning and 1.19.4 at the end. If it doesn't, it's not going to work. So make sure it's Iris and then 1.19.4. So there you go, right like so. Now, I'm going to change resolution so we can see better once we get in game and then click set create. Now we have Shaders 1.19.4. It's the correct version. Click play, click play again. Once Minecraft's open, it's actually really easy to install our shaders. So the hardest part is getting Iris. Once you've got Iris installed and Minecraft's open with Iris installed, you're basically done. Adding your shaders packs is incredibly easy to do. So here we are, Minecraft is open. We then want to go ahead and click on options from the main menu, then click video settings. Then click Shaders Packs. I'm going to do that one more time. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on Options, Video Settings, Shaders Packs. Now, as you can see, there's nothing in here. Now, you can just click this from your desktop and drag and drop it. Boom. There you go. Yo FPS is installed. But you can also click on Open Shader Pack folder and drag and drop your shader pack into here. You might be wondering, why am I doing that? Well, one, it moves it off your desktop. And two... I think that's just more reliable. I've never trusted dragging and dropping things into Minecraft, and by simply clicking a button and dragging and dropping this way, you know it's going to work every time. But when we come back to Minecraft, here are all of our shaders. If they aren't there, just click Done, and then go back to Shaders Packs. To activate them, click on it and click Apply. Boom. Your Shaders Pack will then activate. It'll turn yellow to show that. And if you do want to change any of the Shaders Pack settings, you can click Shader Pack Settings here and change everything from lighting to the different profiles that a shader pack has. So if we come in here, you can change this from ultra, high, low, medium, whatever you want. And now we can jump in game. And by the way, don't be afraid to play around with some of your uh, some of your different settings here for sodium because it can really, really affect your performance. Even those shader pack settings can really affect your performance. So if you want to get more FPS, you can change those to get more. But nevertheless, here we are in game and we will be able to quickly see that shaders is in fact active. Boom. No doubt there. Let's go ahead and change our time. So it's a bit brighter. And uh, this is BSL shaders. We can then go into options, video settings, shaders packs. Look at this. You can change your shader right in game. Make up ultra fast. Click apply. And that is what make up ultra fast looks like. Change your shader settings right in game as well. And so we want this to be turned to the highest setting. We can do that. What is the lowest setting look? Right, shadowless. What does that look like? Well, it looks like that. Doesn't look great, but it still is in theory some of the shaders features like the grass blowing in the wind. And then last but not least, we can go ahead and check out Yo FPS, which in and of itself is designed to be a high FPS shaders pack. So not a lot of shading, but you got some of that uh, grass swaying in the wind. Same thing with the leaves. But that's how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.19. For. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out one of the videos on your screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll, uh, you'll like them. And YouTube's algorithm is pretty good if you ask me. So check those out. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your shaders. Do you notice how that's, uh, that's an issue? Occasionally that will happen. And you can actually come in here to your, your shader settings and sometimes mess around and fix some of those issues. But uh, sometimes packs just aren't compatible and things have bugs. So you can just switch packs to something else. And it goes away. There you have it. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.